Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at a brand new Polly Young wig. Her name is London, and this is her. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Now you can tell by my voice that it's been kind of froggy or horsey or whatever you want to call it. But I have had this sore throat for two weeks and I have not had a voice. This is the best voice I've had, otherwise it was a whisper. So I'm really anxious to try and make a video so that you can, well, so that I can stay connected. I feel like I'm lost. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this, this wig here. Her name is London, and isn't she cute? She's got razor edge cuts and kind of like a Bixie. Um, but she's brand new for Polly Young, and I thought I would go ahead and give her a try. Let me take a look and see what her, what they say about her, okay? London, European-styled or European-inspired crop features, trending dark, dark roots, and a swept fringe and flicked layers. I like that word, flicked. <laughs> anyway, she comes in an average size. And she's available in the six Euro colors, which are all right here in their catalog. They only have those six available for, for London. But I know that these Euro fibers are really nice. They're nice. They're uh, comparable to Jacqueline Smith's fibers. And um, they, they are really nice. I know that the... Um, the Euro style of Victoria that I have, I've had her for two years and she's still looking good. Okay, so we will talk about her features afterwards, but I've got her in the box right here. Let's go ahead and look at her dimensions. There she is. Okay, and I'll get her outside the box and all unwrapped. Okay, she is very lightweight very lightweight. She is only 2.6 ounces. And of course, the fibers are nice and smooth. They lay really pretty flat. Let's take a look at her cap construction. Alrighty. So what we have is an open cap construction, partial or modified. We have open wefts on the right and left of center, but we have closed lace from the front center down the center of the top and then including the crown, that is closed. So we can have a little bit of permatease and I can tell there's a little bit there, but it's not very much at all. Okay, on the sides, we have open ear tabs on both sides and they have stitched hair fibers on the underside of the cap there on both sides. Perfect, I love that feature. We have Velcro adjusters on both sides, right and left on the nape. And then we have an extended nape, and it looks like it might be closed. It's not a very large extended nape, but it is closed. And then of course, very stretchy open wefts all the way around. So I'm excited. I'm excited for this young lady. Okay, so she's got a little bit of a punk going on in the crown area. But look at that, isn't that cute? It's a, looks like it's a version of a shag again. Boy, those are coming back, aren't they? Are you excited about that? I am so excited. <laughs> anyway, okay, what I have on today is, of course, I've got my square band and my Jacqueline Smith Timeless in the color Silver Starlet. I like, I like a shorter gray style because I, can, I don't have to treat my sideburns. My sideburns are really silvery and so I don't have to treat them and it makes it really easy for around the house and quick get up and goes. Okay, but let's go ahead and try on London. Ready? Okay, this is London. Up at the hairline, even ear tabs. She actually comes over the top of my, of my hearing, I mean my ears. We've got decent coverage. It doesn't cover completely but it's very decent coverage on both sides. So that's really nice. Alrighty, she's got a, a bang in there. Okay, let me read her dimensions. This is what she looks like right out of the box. You know, we've got to work with her a little bit, don't we? But let's read her dimensions. We've got a five inch front, 
a four and a half inch top. We have a four and a half inch crown as, as well. The sides are five and three quarters, so we've got a little bit of extra length here. We've got a four and a four and a quarter upper back, and then a three and three quarters inch nape. So that gives you some good coverage back here. Yep, and that's it for her. Well, now the fun begins, right? Okay, so to begin with, let's see if she looks like, does she look like the picture? I think she does. You know, we've got, now you have to remember, I have, my ears stick out. <laughs> my ears stick out, so they make all the wigs kind of stick out right here. So that's why I've got a, another thing I've got to disguise. All righty. <laughs> but anyway, so you can see, I think she looks a lot like her picture. Now, it may be that I'm wearing this a little bit lower, lower on my neck, because I want to cover my hair, my nape hair. So anyway, but oh, this is cute. Alrighty, so long bangs. And of course, we're going to begin by pressing on the bangs using the heat of my fingers and my hands to create a crease to allow those bangs to come out at an arch. And that way, you know, you want to do this kind of thing before you start cutting on your wigs. Make sure you have it up high enough and that you do treat your bangs like that. Now, of course, the other alternative to this, if you need more coaxing, is to use your hot air brush on your bangs. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so we've got a little bit more curl there. Now let's start playing around with her. The picture just shows that she's parted right in the middle. So this is what we're gonna look at. This is what she's supposed to look at to begin with. Okay, can you see all those nice razor cuts around the edges? Yep, and a little bit of flip. Very cute. But I know I'm gonna like her when I start playing around with her. Alrighty, so in front of the ears, partially behind. Oh, golly, doesn't she look a lot like these shaggy hairstyles from the 60s? Oh my gosh, yeah. Didn't Goldie Hawn used to wear some kind of a shaggy from her days at on laugh -In? Do you remember that? Her blonde hair and it was all shaggy, razor cut like this. Oh, how cute. Okay, so a very relaxed, very relaxed, easygoing style. Okay, so we can try a side swept bang. Okay. Bring her down a little bit. Or you can play up the spike in the on the crown. Yeah, I mean, if you like this, a little bit of a carefree, messy kind of look, this, you wouldn't have to do much of anything to her. Now, how are those wefts in the back? Can you see those wefts? I'm not sure. I, I'm going to have to look in the mirror. But I would think that the fibers are long enough to do that. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's typical. Part on the side. Let's part on this side. Yep, I like the look of that. And of course, it's got that darker root. And of course, you know, remember, um, in, if you haven't seen my square band um, video, you might want to think about if you don't like too much rooting and the style of the hair that you're looking for is in a rooted color, like the Euroline is all rooted, then you might consider um, picking up a, 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 wig, a square band it is a headband that has hinges and it's like a pair of sunglasses. It's larger than a typical headband is. And so they fit over the top of your wigs so nicely and comfortably. The temples are long enough that they come all the way down behind your ear. They really fit nicely. They add a little bit more security to wearing your wig. 
if you like, but it also will help cover up some of that additional rooting. Now it won't take rid of, won't get rid of all of it, but it will disguise it. But isn't that cute with, with that headband? So anyway, alrighty, so we've got a little bit more shagginess. All right, so I think it's time. Let's see if we comb her forward. It's almost time for the water, isn't it? <laughs> you can feel it coming. I can too. <laughs> okay, so that gives you another different kind of a look. Certainly a more casual look. And if it's a little too shiny, I recommend spraying it with some of your Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the original, and so it's got a little bit of a powdery color to it, or at least a neutral white. And so you can actually reduce the, the shine on your wigs just by spraying it very gently. They also, Batiste makes dry shampoo in colors as well. So this is their brown color, and I use this on all of my brown rig, wigs. Everything from a dark blonde or even um, blonder ones, um, I, I spray it if I don't want it to look quite so blondish. So anyway, all right, time for water. All right, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at how she wants to stand up. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I might wear her for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this, this whole sore throat voice disappearing has taken its toll on me. I tell you what, somebody like me who can't talk for two weeks, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then my husband is hard of hearing. Even though he wears hearing aids, he's legally deaf. But <laughs> between the two of us trying to, <laughs> trying to communicate with each other, I can't talk, he can't hear. <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, okay, let's let's just have some fun with her, okay? Slicking her up, pulling her down, making it a little more sassy around the front pulling some of these fibers forward. Oh my gosh, I like her, I like her, so fun. And of course, I wouldn't, I would probably just fluff these up, let them go where they want, you know, how fun is that? And of course, we know that when we add water or gel to piece it out, it's going to um, show off the highlighted tips and the darker roots a little bit more. So overall, your your color hue will darken because you're seeing more of the dark roots underneath, but you will also see a very distinctness in the highlights because all of the fibers are going to be more visible. So let's take a look. I'll just do a turnaround for you right now. So you can see it, can't you? With all of the highlights, and then the darkness underneath. Yeah. So this is going to be an occurrence with, with all the colors that she is available in because they are the rooted Euro line. So, I mean, just think of it. She comes in that beautiful Capri copper. Oh my gosh, that color is gorgeous. And in a shorter crop hairstyle, shaggy, oh what? Fun is that in the red. And then you've got her in blondes and then the Milano brown on top of that. So with the choices that you have, this could be a really fun, fun wig to have. Just for holidays, you know, you can, oh my gosh, let's try a couple of little clips. Would, would my pretty blingy clips be good? How about that? You got one over here? Maybe I'll put in another one, huh? Yeah. Just putting a couple of them. I might, you know, see how they're kind of tapering down. You can actually taper them up as well or put them across like our crowns. Oh my gosh, I want to put on my headband. We haven't seen my headband in a while, have we? So we've got this, look at that. Well, if this isn't a fun, a fun style for a party, holiday party if you have some of those to go to. 
How fun is that? Great, isn't it? Oh, what fun. We can also comb her forward and bring back all of the hair behind my ears. These bangs are long enough to taper across the edge of the cap. And so I don't have to worry about my sideburns showing. It looks rather natural. And then of course it looks very casual. If we wanna poof up the, the crown, make that a little higher. That would be cute adding a headband too, wouldn't it? Or it just looks a little more casual. We get that little Petula Clark look, look going. <laughs> Let's do a side sweat bang like that too, which looks very cute. There we go. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm sure that if we wet these down, we could sleek them a little bit more. Let me try that. Give us a little bit more a sleek look. Okay, so you get them all wet. Bring that forward. Then it looks a little bit more like there's a longer fringe in the back. Well, how about this? This is very cute, isn't it? Wow, what versatility. You know, those Bixies are really, really versatile. They give you the, the length to play with in all different directions, but this is very, very cute. So, this is London. This is London, how do you like her? Oh my gosh, I love her. She is a lot of fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this girl. Okay, well, this is just great. Thank you so much for joining me in spite of my voice. I hope you were able to understand me and uh, that we are able to get back in the swing of things, okay? Thanks a lot for joining. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Hit that button to, for, to be notified so that you don't miss any of my videos. And I look forward to seeing all of you again here real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye for now.